Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I wanted to show you how you can open up files and directories using Sublime Text from within your terminal. Uh, so if you use your terminal a lot, you've probably run into a situation where uh, you're within a project and uh, you find the file that you want to open or if you want to open up the entire project. Uh, what you do is you go into Finder, you find that project or you find that file and you open it up that way. But uh, it's kind of time consuming. It'd be really nice if we had a command uh, maybe called subl um, and then the name of the file that we wanted and we could just open up the file that way. Uh, well Sublime Text actually has in a built-in command line tool that we can use that does this um, but it doesn't add it to our path automatically to where we can use that command. So the location of this command is in applications Sublime Text contents shared support and it's within this bin folder and it's called subl. So if I type out this whole command and then type in index.html whenever I hit enter you can see that it opens up that file from within Sublime Text. So that's exactly what we want but this file or this line here is extremely long. It would be nice if we could just type in this subl command and do it that way. Now there are two ways that we can go about this. Um, first, let me echo out my path here. And so what this shows is the, these are the locations where your computer looks for these commands. Um, so I've got a couple of extra ones here, but uh, you can kind of see a theme here. There's user local bin, user bin, bin, uh, user s bin. Um, so what we our two options are we could add this whole line here up to this bin folder we could add that to our path or we could add this command into one of these existing folders and just link it to this command here and that's the approach that I'm going to take I just think that it's easier it's one line you don't have to go in and edit your uh, bash RC files and things like that um, so the one line to do that we can do an LN S which will create a link and then we can just copy this from before the entire thing and paste that in so that is what we are linking to and then to create our link we'll just type in user and I'm gonna go ahead and go with this uh, user local bin and so user local bin and the name of the command and I'm just gonna stick with subl so let's go ahead and hit enter and now if I do an ls la within this user local bin directory and I'm gonna take away that command and then I'm also going to do a grep for the name of the command so let's hit enter and you can see here that it found uh, one entry and this L right at the front means that it's a link and you can see that it has the name of the command here and that it links to applications uh, sublime text app contents shared support bin and the command that we want so now that that's set up for us, we should just be able to type in the short command and then the name of the file that we want, hit enter, and it opens it up in Sublime Text. And this isn't only for opening up files. We can open up, um, we can use this just like we use any other terminal tool now. So it accepts relative paths. So we can type in subl and do a dot for the current directory. And then if I open up my sidebar here, then you can see that it opened up uh, the entire test project. Um, I can do that command with a dot dot dash to open up the directory above and you can see that now I have uh, three projects in this parent directory. So you can use this just about any way that you want to use it and uh, it's a lot faster than um, tracking down these files from within your finder if you're already looking at them from within your terminal anyway. So that about does it for this video. Uh, now you should be able to open up any files or directories from directly within your terminal. Um, so if you guys have any questions about this, you know, feel free to ask in the comments section below. I hope that this video was useful for you guys and thank you for watching.